Welcome back to the Abby Choice YouTube channel. Today we'll be learning how to make this beautiful pencil dress with replaceable cow sleeve. It's very simple to make and it doesn't take time. If this is what you would like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. And it doesn't require too much sewing. So to do this, I'll be working with this plain fabric and this flower fabric, okay? This plain fabric is going to be for the bodies and this flower is going to be our sleeve. So now let's start. To do this, it's going to be a short dress. So I already measured my full length of 40 inches. That is the length I want. If you want it to be more than, you just need to extend it. Okay? And then my fabric is folded into four, which means I'm cutting both the front and back together. So here I don't need my ham o measurement because this is going to be a cow sleeve it's quite big so i don't need a ham o measurement i just need my bust point measurement because i would like to sh give it a kind of shape around that area and then i'll also be needing my hip measurement which is 24 inches and then my full length measurement the shoulder i'm working with is seven inches which is here and i've marked this and then the neckline I'm working with, for my neckline width, I'm working with three and a half inches. And then for the depth, I'm using two inches for the front and six inches for the back because that is what I want. So this is not constant. You just need to use whatever measurement that you desire to use in your own case. Okay. So now I'm connecting my necklines together. And then I have this so now remember that I said I want to shape this cow neck so it depends on you whatever shape that you wish to have so for me most of my shaping will be done on the bust point area so on this my bust point area I'm just going to be inserting my bust pan measurement also need as the nipple to nipple which in this case is four is eight inches eight inches divided by two is going to give me four inches and i don't want it too tight so i'm going to be adding like half inch for his and then half inch for sewing so that's going to give me five inches and then from here on my nipple point measurement i'm going to measure five inches like this okay then i'll move over to my hip line so it depends on where you want your cow effect to stop on your sleeve you can place it directly on your hip line but i don't want mine to be directly on my hip line so i'm just going to maybe go a bit by one inch upwards like this or it can also be on your hip line depending on whatever it is that you want okay let's just use let's work with our hip line the hip i'm working with is 38 inches divided by four is going to give me nine and half so this is nine and half then for his you can just add like half inch which will make it 10 inches and then the next thing for me now is to either use my free hand or if you have a cuff you can connect all these together so that i can get a smooth cuff so if you don't have a cuff you can also work with your free hand so working with your free hand will give you something like this and then this hip measurement is what i'm going to be taking down because like i said it's a straight gown and the fabric is a bit stretchy so i don't need any slits for it so i'm just going to take it down like that up to my hemline okay so this shape that i have here now i'm going to be connecting it to my shoulder measurement also using a curve and again if you don't have a curve you can also use your free hand it will also work well for you so what i'm trying to explain now is that this shape that i've created is not static if you don't want all these coffee effects on your own you can decide to just measure what you have on your shoulder which is seven inches here and then on your nipple to nipple measurements also you measure the seven inches then you take it straight down and then connect it to your hip this is another star so it really does i don't want it to be too bold so that it doesn't confuse us so it, just, it really doesn't have to follow 
this particular shape it can follow any shape that you vision or you imagine for your dress so now after doing this now i'm going to cut this out so that i can cut out the sleeve okay so i've cut this out now and you can see the shape that we have and like i said yours can just be straight it doesn't really have to be coffee like this i'm doing this because this is what i want okay so to cut out the replaceable cows it's called replaceable because i'm going to replacing the cow i can actually cut everything together with this single fabric but i'll be replacing it with a new fabric which is this that is why it is called a replaceable cow sleeve i'm just going to be folding the fabric also into four and then i'll place my pattern on it like this okay so folding the fabric into four means that I'm cutting both the front and back sleeve also together so that will be two for the front and two for the back so I'm trying to arrange my fabric well and then this shape that I have here this curved shape I'm going to cut it out remember I'll be sewing it to the main body so the shape has to be perfect okay so now that i've cut it out i'm going to place them close to each other like this i hope you can see what we have here okay remember the sleeve is going to be stopping on our on our um sorry on our hip line so you have to take note of that i will not be needing anything after this hip so i'll be shaping that out later so now to draft this sleeve you need to know the sleeve length measurements that you want to work with remember our shoulder stops here for this tutorial i'll be working with a sleeve length of 15 inches it can be more it can be less depending on what you want okay so from my shoulder from where my shoulder stops now i'm going to measure 15 inches Okay, so after measuring my sleeve length like i said it can be any sleeve length you want here on that point i'm going to be going down by two inches for my shoulder slope and then i'll take my ruler and then connect it from this my shoulder slope up to where my neckline starts okay okay so i've done the shoulder slope from this neckline here all the way to where my shoulder stops I hope this chalk is visible so after the shoulder slope the next thing i'm going to do is my sleeve opening okay so for my sleeve opening i'll be using eight inches because i uh, may probably had a band to this so i'll measure from where my shoulder slips off up to the eight inches and then i'm going to mark it like this so this is going to be for my sleeve opening okay so now from where your sleep opening stop that eight inches we are going to be connecting it in a coffee way to our hip line like this so from here you can either use a curve if you have and if you don't have you can use your free hand to connect it to where your hip measurement stop so by the time i cut this out now it's going to be more feasible because the chalk is not so feasible okay so now that we have cut it out i'm sure now we understand it better our shoulder slope for our shoulder slope from our sleeve measurements i went down by two inches and then connected it to the neckline and then from there i measured my sleeve opening which is eight inches and then i measured this down here so from my sleeve opening i connected this in a coffee way to where my I, my hip line is so now the next thing for me now is just to cut out my neckline for both front and back and then we'll go back to the machine to sew so now i've cut out my front and my back neckline and to sew it i'm just going to place it like this this is my front with the lower neckline and then remember i said we have four of the sleeve also two for front and two for back so now i'll arrange it like this Okay, this is one side of the front like this and then i'll take it to the sewing machine and sew it like this on one side of the front i'll do the same thing on the other side of the front i'll play, pick another one that corresponds to it place it like this 
and then I'm going to go over to the machine and sew it. Then I'll do the same thing to the back side also and then bring it back to show us. Okay, so I've gone ahead to sew this together now to both the front and the back. So when we turn it out, this is what we have. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. So the next thing to do now is to sew them together. And to do this, I'm just going to bring my front and back together and then place it right side facing right side like this. And then on the shoulder area, I'll bring it together and then join it together on the shoulder on both shoulder i'm going to join it together on both shoulder so after joining it together on both shoulder i also join it on the side so the journey from the side will start from my eight inches sleeve opening here then i'm going to join it all the way down like that okay so i've gone ahead to join it together on the shoulder and as you can see i did the same thing to the side Okay, so when we turn it out, this is what it's going to look like. So now the dress is almost done. And if you want more fullness around here, maybe if you want to gather it, what you just need to do is to cut this out on pattern so that you can do so you can draw some slash lines to it and then do slash and spread method to introduce more volume so that to give you opportunity to gather something like this on it so if you want to do that we have done a lot of slash and spread method on the channel so i'm sure that shouldn't be a problem but if you don't know how to you can let me know in the comment section so that i can drop a link where you can watch for you so now to finish this up like i said i'm going to be adding a band to this sleeve opening so i'll be using this plain material for my band and then I'm going to probably, you can either do a band that you can tie or you can just do a regular band and then add an elastic to it so that it can be firm on the hand of the person that is wearing whichever one you choose to do is fine okay so I've gone ahead to add bands to the sleeve and you can see what our car dress is looking like so you can just pipe the neckline with a bias for neat finishing and this is the sleeve you can see the cows that this has formed for us and it is really really beautiful and easy to make and like i said it doesn't have to be curved like this you can choose any shape that you wish to form with yours and it will just come out the same way that you expect it to come out kindly let us know if this tutorial was helpful give us a thumbs up comment like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't see you in the next one bye